Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Series circuit. In a series circuit, the current at every point is the same and the sum of potential difference across each component is equal to the electromotive force the battery. In a diagram, shows three light bulbs connected in series with a battery. The current from the battery I, T, is equal to the current through each light bulb I, 1, equals I, 2, equals I, 3. So, if one light bulb is removed or broken, the other light bulb will not work, because there is no path for the current to flow. The sum of the potential difference across each light bulb is equal to EMF of the battery. So, EMF E equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. The total resistance of series circuit R T is equal to the sum of the resistance of each light bulb R1 plus R2 plus R3. This can be proven mathematically as follows. I T equals I1 equals I2 equals I3. E equals V, 1 plus V, 2 plus V, 3. Substitute E equals I, T, R, T, V, 1 equals I, 1, R, 1, V, 2 equals I, 2, R, 2, and V, 3 equals I, 3, R, 3. We can cancel out all of I, because they are equal. So R T equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, when more light bulbs are added in series to a circuit, the potential difference across each light bulb decreases and total resistance increases. This causes the current in each light bulb to decrease, causing them dimmer. Example 1. Calculate the total resistance current from the battery and potential difference across the resistor X, Y and Z. Calculate the total resistance of a circuit using the following equation. RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. Substitute R1 equals 6, R2 equals 4 and R3 equals 8. So RT equals 18 ohms. Calculate the current from a battery using the following equation. IT equals EMF over RT. Substitute EMF equals 12 and RT equals 18. So IT equals 2 over 3 or 0.67 amperes. In the series circuit, the current from battery is equal to current through each resistor. So I1 equals I2 equals I3 equals 0.67 amperes. Calculate the potential difference across the resistor X using the following equation. Vx equals I1 R1. Substitute I1 equals 0.67 R1 equals 6. So Vx equals 4 volts. Calculate the potential difference across the resistor Y using the following equation. Vy equals I2, R2. Substitute I1 equals 0.67, R1 equals 4. So Vy equals 2.7 volts. Calculate the potential difference across the resistor Z using the following equation. Vz equals I3, R3. Substitute I, 1, equals 0.67, R1, equals 8. So V, Y, equals 5.3 volts. Parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, the current from the battery is shared by each component, and the potential difference across each component is the same, and equals to the EMF of the battery. The diagram shows three light bulbs connected in parallel with a battery. The current from the battery I, T, is split into each light bulb. So, the current from the battery I, T, is equal to the sum of the currents through each light bulb I, T equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. If one light bulb is removed or broken, the other light bulbs will still work, because there is still a path for the current to flow. 
The potential difference across each component is the same and equal to the EMF of the battery. So, EMF E equals V1 equals V2 equals V3. The total resistance of the parallel circuit is 1 over R T equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. This can be proven mathematically as follows. E equals V1 equals V2 equals V3. I T equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Substitute I T equals E over R T. I1 equals V1 over R1. I2 equals V2 over R2. And I3 equals V3 over R3. We can cancel out all of V because they are equal. So, 1 over R T equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Therefore, when more light bulbs are added in parallel to a circuit, the total resistance decreases. However, the potential difference across each light bulb remains the same, and the current through each light bulb remains the same. This means that each light bulb will have the same brightness. Even though the total current from the battery increases to share the added light bulb. The advantages of connecting light bulbs in parallel are The potential difference across each component is the same and equal to the EMF of the battery. If one light bulb is removed or broken, the other light bulb will still work. Example 2. Calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Current from battery. Current into a resistor X and Y. The diagram is shown a parallel circuit. The total resistance can be calculated using the following the equation as shown below. Substitute R1 equals 6 and R2 equals 4. The result is 2.4 ohms. In the parallel circuit, the potential difference across each resistor is the same and equal to the EMF of the battery. So, EMF E equals V X equals V, Y equals 12 volts. The battery current I, T, can be calculated using the following equation as shown below. Substitute EMF equals 12, and R, T equals 2.4. So, I, T is 5 amperes. The current flows through a resistor X, can be calculated using the following equation as shown below. Substitute V, X, equals 12, and R, X, equals 6. So, I, 1, equals 2 amperes. The current flows through a resistor Y can be calculated using the following equation, as shown below. Substitute V, Y, equals 12, and R, Y, equals 4. So, I, 2, equals 3 amperes. You see that I, 1, plus I, 2, equals I, T, equals 5 amperes. So, higher resistance lead to lower current. Lower resistance lead to higher current. There is 4 ohms resistor to add in the circuit, as shown in the diagram. The total resistance can be calculated using the following the equation, as shown below. Substitute R1 equals 6, R2 equals 4 and R3 equals 4. The result is 1.5 ohms. The potential difference across each resistor is the same and equal to the EMF of the battery. So, EMF E equals V, X equals V, Y equals V, Z equals 12 volts. The battery current I, T can be calculated using the following equation as shown below. Substitute EMF equals 12 and R, T equals 1.5. So, I, T, is 8 amperes. The current flows through a resistor X, can be calculated using the following equation, as shown below. Substitute V, X, equals 12, and R, X, equals 6. So, I, 1, equals 2 amperes. The current flows through a resistor Y can be calculated using the following equation, as shown below. Substitute V, Y, equals 12, and R, Y, equals 4. 
So I2 equals 3 amperes. The current flows through a resistor Z can be calculated using the following equation as shown below. Substitute V Z equals 12 and R Z equals 4. So I3 equals 3 amperes. You see that I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals 8 amperes equals IT. Thus, the total resistance of a parallel circuit decreases as the number of resistors in the circuit increases. The battery current increases as the total resistance of the circuit decreases. However, I1 and I2 remain the same, so the battery current increases to share into resistor Z. Connecting cells in series. Each cell has an EMF of 1.5 volts and a resistance of 1 ohm. Four cells connected in series. So, total EMF is 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 is equal to 6 volts. The total resistance is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4 ohms. If one cell is reversed as shown, so the EMF of two cells is cancelled. Then the total E dot M dot F is 3 volts. The total resistance remains 4 ohms. The advantages of connecting cells in series are higher total EMF. The disadvantages of connecting cells in series are higher total resistance, causing shorter battery life. Connecting cells in parallel. Each cell has EMF of 1.5 volts and a resistance of 1 ohm. Four cells connected in parallel. So, total EMF is 1.5 volts. And 1 over total resistance equals 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. The total resistance equals 1 over 4 ohms. The advantages of connecting cells in series are lower total resistance causing longer battery life. The disadvantages of connecting cells in series are lower total EMF. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.